Hello and welcome back to the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anais Olis. I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate here at Aqua. Now, Trivi is our all-in-one security scanner, meaning you can scan lots of different resources, such as your container images, your file systems, your Git repositories, as well as your infrastructure as code, or even running workloads within your cluster for vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, exposed secrets, and lots, lots more. Trivi can also do things such as S-bomb generation and lots of other things. However, in this video, we want to go back to vulnerability scanning and really focus on vulnerability scanning specifically of our Git repositories. Whether those are your own Git repositories or somebody else's Git repository, you can scan it for vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. Up to the previous release, it would be a simple Trivi repo Git repository link scan. But now, since the previous release, you can also specify either the Git branch or the Git commit hash to scan specific commits or specific branches for vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Special thanks to Shopam who contributed the additional refinement to the Git repo uh, scan command in Trivi. We have actually a live stream that we recorded with Shopam two weeks ago on our channel. If you want to learn more about their contributor experience, how they got started contributing to Trivi and to open source in general, do check that out. It was a really, really interesting conversation with lots of tips by Shopam. Thank you so much for contributing to Trivi. And if you're one of our contributors and you would like to be on our next live stream, please do reach out. The Slack channel is linked below where you can reach out to us and where we can get you scheduled for one of our next live streams. Now, here in the release note, you will find the latest updates from Trivi. It's linked in our discussions pinned at the top. Here you will also find an overview. We love to thank our different contributors for the features they add to Trivi. And when you go over to Trivi to the documentation, inside of docs, you will find vulnerabilities scanning and Git repository scanning. And this is what we're going to do now. Now you can also find all of the different commands that I will be using in the Trivi demo repository with all of different examples on what and how and why you can scan which resources. Now let's assume I want to get started with Go and I'm looking for some example projects also to give me some inspiration of the example projects that I could do to improve my skills. So I googled just Go example projects and I came across this example project, Golang example app. And this looks like a really nice app. It has, um, it has a release, it has a contributor, it has somebody maintaining it. And last updates made on the 2nd of May. Um, 102 stars, it looks like it's something that I should be able to use. Now, without me understanding much of Go, I want to understand, okay, how, what is the kind of, what are the kind of vulnerabilities and misconfigurations in this uh, Go repository, in this application that I should be aware of. So what I could do is, so I can take the URL, copy paste it, and then I can go to my terminal and Obviously, I must have Trivi installed. Just make sure you have Trivi installed. There are lots of installation options in the documentation, also linked below. So once I have it installed, you can find here the repository command. The short term is just repo. So you can just say Trivi repo scan. Trivi repo. And then we just specify the URL to the repository. Now, once the scan is performed, we can already see a misconfiguration here that there's a private key exposed in this repository. We can see here kind of, well, it's, it's covered, but I'm not sure if it's actually covered also in the repository, right? Um, so I should check that. And then we could see several vulnerabilities here. So it has in total 11 vulnerabilities, five unknown, one medium, and five high. And then here the exposed secret. So Trivi is also showing you if there are any secrets exposed in your repository. So for example, also before you commit any repository and you don't know if you accidentally still have a secret within it, you could check it with Trivi as well before committing uh, your, your own file systems or repository to Git. Now, once we've performed this scan, we might want to scan a specific branch. And here, this repository has another branch, which is called Gin Example. 
And Jun example is a bit older. It has a failed CICD pipeline. So I'm not sure if I should be using that one, right? So we want to take a look at that first. Like after the initial scan, I know that I should, for example, take care of finding a solution of how to, if I have to use a private key, of how to replace the private key directly in the repository because you don't want to have private keys directly in the repository. So next I want to see, can I use the Jin example app? And we can use the same repository, like the same command, but we can specify the branch and we do that with, with branch and then Jin example, which is specify the branch. And we're gonna run this and as you can see in this one, there are lots and lots more vulnerabilities. And let me maybe make this smaller so you can see the table properly of what it actually shows you. So any trivi scan will provide you with a table that displays the library that has the vulnerability or the package that has the vulnerability, then the vulnerability CVE, the number, the severity of the vulnerability, and that's um, based on several different classifications. Then the installed version that has the vulnerability and whether or not there's a fix available for the vulnerability. So for instance, for, these, for this library issue, for this vulnerability, installed version here, there's no fix available yet. Now you can find with the AVD, you can find more information on the vulnerability itself to understand it better and see whether or not it's affecting you or whether or not you should find like a workaround to not have this installed version in your repository. So with the AVD, we just copy paste it and then you can find more information here, the affected software, the description of it, the CVE severity and yeah potential mitigations as well so this is providing you lots of information again you don't have to be a security expert to scan for your git repositories for vulnerabilities right so as you can see in this specific branch that we scanned there are actually 41 vulnerabilities instead of 11 so there are lots more so if i really want to use this example repository i should probably use the other the main branch instead of the gin example branch right and this is kind of how you navigate yourself through a new repository and understand how to use it and how to not use it or things that you should keep in mind before using it right now going back to the example in addition to that you could also specify the specific branch um, the specific commit hash so in this case for example we can find the commit hash here of the latest commit and we could do take that and then we can just specify um, trivi repo and then dash dash commit commit repository name and we run it it should show us the same result because this is the latest commit to the gin example branch so it should also show us 41 vulnerabilities within and that's exactly what it does that's what i expected it's exactly the same if we would check in this case the gin example branch but in some cases for example if you're checking somebody's pr you want to see whether or not their PR is, for example, introducing new vulnerabilities to your um, to your repository, right? Before accepting the PR, and maybe then when you review the PR, you can give the people additional uh, suggestions on how to fix vulnerabilities or to take care of the vulnerabilities before you actually merge. The last thing that we can specify is the tag. So if we say git trivia repo and then dash dash tag we can specify the tag that we want to be using so for instance here is version the released version version uh, 0.0.6 so we can copy that and then we provide again our repository link and this is going to scan it now this should have as many vulnerabilities 11 as the main branch that we scanned at the beginning right because it's the this is the latest release and it doesn't seem like there have been any updates since then now, now we want to compare the latest one with version uh, 0.0.5 and see if there have been more vulnerabilities. I would assume there have been more vulnerabilities in one of the latest releases, earlier releases. And in this case, we can see that the asymmetric private key has always been there, kind of, also before been there. 
And then we can see that the previous release before that, not the most recent one, has actually 35 vulnerabilities, so a lot more. So that just shows you use the latest release, the latest versions. And this is really how you can now specify with Trivi, um, the not just the specific Git repository that you want to scan, but also the branch, the commit hash, or the tag. You can also scan private repositories just by specifying the GitHub token, your GitHub token as like an environment variable. And then Trivi will have access to the private repositories of that account. Again, I really hope this was useful and gave you an overview of how you can scan your Git repositories, more specifically the Git branch, commit or tag of your Git repositories. Again, thank you so much for Shopem for contributing it to Trivi and expanding the functionality of the Trivi repository command. Do check it out. See if you can use it the next time that you decide upon using somebody else's example projects or similar before you're using any library out there. I hope to see one of our upcoming videos. We also have a weekly live stream with our contributors and other people in the open source space. So do consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. If this video was useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Give Trivia Star on GitHub. It would mean a lot to us. Have an amazing day and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.